Hey guys, it's Queen Deja, and in today's video, I will be reacting ring to episode 35 of Sword of Online Alicization War of Underworld. Let's go ahead and get started in 3, 2, 1, go. What's up? I'm here. Ugh. So you kind of tell me he going dead today? Is that what you're telling me? If so, I don't want it. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. <laughs> I can't. No, don't do this to me today. I don't. Look, look, we're not even going to say this, but you know, fuck it, I'm going to say it. Next week on My Hero, this shit's coming and I'm not fucking ready for it. So I don't need this to give me this shit today. I don't want to see a character that I care about die today and then having to worry about the shit of My Hero next week because I'm already emotional as fuck. And I don't really like to see someone who I like today die in a fucking episode. So don't do it. Be smart. Don't kill anybody today. Just let him live. Let him live until Alice is like, yeah, I want to go to the real world. It's like that. We're fine. No, like really, if he dies today, we're going <laughs> to. I'm be so pissed. I will be, I will be so fucking pissed. Like way more pissed. Than when any character I've like dies. So don't do it. I swear to God. I'm telling you right now. If this show. Please don't. I swear to God. I just don't. I don't like the name of this episode. I would be so freaking scared to climb over that. Mm -mm. See, that's why. Oh! That is like, in that is instant mother effing death. Like, ha. Huh. Mm-mm.
I mean, but that's a big ass group. I mean, are they all gonna make it over there in time? I mean, yeah, be smart and help each other. Shit. That's less blood on your hands. Oh, never mind. Well, I mean, you know, they had no names, so, you know, ultimately, they have to die no matter what, so. Fuck it, right? God damn, finally, Jesus. Did she literally call everybody? Holy shit, she's calling everybody. I know that feeling.
to the that's exactly what it is. I had a weird feeling. <laughs> oh my god. Mm -hmm. So then maybe you should wait when it's like what midday here in America and like kind of daytime interview?
We're not even going to talk about these problems, are we? No. Don't look at me like that, puppy. Thank you. Right then and there. Well, shit. You think people want to go ahead and... Mm -mm. So you would feel that when you come out. Well, shit, um... That is a... Mm -hmm. Maybe not to everybody, but there's a couple. Never mind. I mean, but shit, would you really want to do that? I mean, that's a damned if you do, damned if you don't situation. That's something that some people would really have to think about.
just right about that though. Now, if nobody don't help after that, mm -mm. hold up. Nope. Who the fuck was that? Who was that? You show you show that person what twice. Um, I, I don't think that's good. Well, shit. Mm -hmm. Definitely not good. Okay, what the fuck? I wasn't ready for that. No. Alright, so can we freaking applaud with the fact that fucking Lisbeth in this episode? Like, holy shit. Wasn't expecting her to say all this shit that she said. Like, even the fact that with her talking about going to the school with a whole bunch of survivors and having them to talk it out. Like, I would have never assumed that they would have, like, addressed that. Because, like, going back to all the way to season one, and especially how... I was always wondering, I was like, hmm, are they ever really going to talk about someone else, how they felt going to school, maybe they had went to go in counseling, something like that, talking to their family members, maybe, you know, a counselor, teacher, principal, something, and then addressing it a little bit in this episode, but not too much. I mean, that's an A plus for me. You can go ahead and write there. I mean, okay, for a really weird reason, I don't know why, with Elizabeth talking the way she was talking, I was getting feels. To Sippo Gear because it's fucking Chris's voice actors. I mean, like, I'm just like, let me not. I can't fan girl right now, but like, oh my god, my child is just literally saying the shit that they need to hear. And it just, the way that this just ended, and assuming that if nobody goes on their side, I get that 100%. She said that here's the bad reasons of why maybe you should possibly not do it, but some people are gonna be like, you know, Kitty Cho helped me in the past, da, da 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 let's do it like this. But then the one person who was hiding in the background, who was shown walking towards, you know, um, the room, and then being shown in, like, the last part before going back to, you know, War of Underworld shit. I mean, who is that? I have so many questions. Is that a man or is that a woman? Who the fuck is that? And then there's someone who looks like Yui right beside them. So, I mean, there's a lot of unanswered questions. And what the fact is... This could possibly, next week's episode could be the last episode for this second season before they possibly say, like, oh, hey, the next half of Solar Online ain't coming out until, like, April or freaking summer or, like, October of next year. I mean, oh, God, if they do that. I swear to God, if I go to bed on Friday next week and I wake up to fucking news that this show is not coming back... <laughs> until later on next year because I feel like I'm gonna get tagged in something I'm just gonna wake up and I'm just gonna look at my phone and I'm just I'm gonna see it and I'm just gonna be like because I, I know it I know they're gonna do it I know they're gonna do it I really do in my heart as much as I'm like no I don't think they're gonna do it I think they're gonna continue it on to the next year maybe but because of the fact is like when you're looking at um winter 2020 anime and you don't really see anything from like this last season for fall 2019, you're sitting here like, oh my fucking god, like, what the fuck are they gonna do? Like, okay, let me tell you this, 
freaking No Guns Life. I was assuming that No Guns Life was going to come in winter. No, they was like, mm, we're going to wait until April. And I was just like, what the fuck? Like, why? This show is getting so good. Why go ahead and cut it off and make me wait until April? I get the fact, because I said the same thing um, yesterday about Fire Force. If it's something about production or wanting to do a whole bunch of other things, then yeah, that's totally fine. But still, that's a huge ass gap. Like, I mean, understand, like, once we get into January, it's not that big much of a gap. But, like, just think about that from the perspective of we're still in 2019 and we ain't in 2020. And the fact is, I mean, it, it's a huge ass gap. I mean, seriously, I hate when some shows do it because it eventually, like, Either one or two things happen. I don't really always usually want to watch it anymore. Or sometimes I will forget that the show was going on a break. And then I, like, assume that it's coming back on. But then I'm like, okay, whatever. But, I mean, they could have did, like, if it's going to happen, I think it would have been better to maybe go, like, okay, let's just go on a break for, like, two weeks and then come back. Because that's what Fate Grand Order is doing. They're going on a break for two weeks and then they're coming back. But then at the same time, I swear to God, I swear to fucking God, if I see that shit next week in the last, supposedly last episode, oh God, <laughs> I swear to God, I'm just going to be so fucking upset. That's, I don't think it'll ruin my day, but I think, you know, mm, <laughs> I'll probably be pissed about it for a couple of hours and eventually get over it because... It's just, I feel like what they're probably going to do with this last episode, they're going to end it so freaking good, but they're going to end it on a cliffhanger, too, because knowing this show, you're going to fucking end that shit on a cliffhanger. Maybe, you know, the person who was coming in as Elizabeth talking, was talking is possibly going to make another appearance. I don't know. It's just showing that person, man, woman, whoever they are, I mean, come on. I'd be kind of surprised if that's fucking cutie toe, but there's no way in hell. I mean... <laughs> no i i have no clue and it scares me but then it also excites me at the same time but still like god damn i honestly thought that in this episode you know my one of my favorite characters is gonna die but nobody died today let's just be happy about that but i feel like next week maybe somebody if it's just probably one character maybe, maybe one to five one to five characters might die maybe nobody will possibly die next week who fucking knows? But now I want to know, like, for freaking, um, Shion and, uh, Leafa, are they already now where Asuna is? Because they weren't there with freaking Elizabeth and everybody else. So you have to kind of assume that, yeah, they're kind of there and they're going to be there like... I don't know, like, shit, are they gonna pop up next week, too? I I wouldn't be surprised if, like, they pop up, because it would make most, the most sense, but who knows? Because we only have one episode left, and the fact is, we only got one episode left, like, anything could freaking happen, and I love slash hate that, but we ain't gonna know until next Saturday. Other than that, guys, that is my reaction to you episode 35, 35, 35, yeah, 35. A sort of online alicization world the underworld. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel. I make videos every single day. Join the magical side. And of course, I will see you guys officially for the last episode of 2019. Hopefully, nothing happens. But, like, the feeling that I have right now. Like, that really, the weird pit in my stomach. Butterflies, it's like that. Something's gonna happen, and I'm not fucking ready for it. But until then, I will see you guys all next time. Bye.